Welcome to BZB TV, your go-to channel for professional and residential AV broadcast as well as live streaming solutions. If any of these are of interest to you, go ahead and click the subscribe and also the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. On today's episode, our lead tech Steve is going to show us how to set up our BZB Gear PTZ cameras to vMix. VMix is a feature-rich live production program software that assists producers with streaming, also digital mixing, and recording HD as well as 4K content to popular social media platforms, just like YouTube. So enough of me wasting your time, let's go ahead and pass this on to Steve. Hey guys, welcome back. Steve from Tech Support here. Today we are going to go over how to add some of our NDI cameras into vMix so that you can use that for your live stream. Today in front of me I've got our UPTZ in NDI as well as our 4K. Both of these are a 12x camera. Uh, that's all you need to know about the equipment there. I got a nice handy little Windows laptop with vMix ready to go, so let's get into it. First thing we are going to do once we open up the software, obviously, hopefully I don't have to tell you that part, once we get in here, we are going to go down to the bottom left corner. There is an option for add input. We are going to select that and our input selection screen will come up. About four selections down, you'll see NDI. Once you select that, it will scan your network for the NDI sources. You'll notice here my two cameras show right up. I went ahead and named both of them already so I know exactly what I'm choosing. So the first one here will be the 4K. So I'm going to hit OK on that. Notice it adds that to camera number one. So now I'm going to select camera number two, add input again, select NDI, and now we can add our second camera. Nice and easy. So as you can see, in the space of less than a minute, I've got both of my cameras pulled into vMix with NDI. This is why we really push the NDI. Uh, we really recommend it for people that are looking for something that's very easy to use because it doesn't get much simpler than that for setup. Once you've got this going on now, you can see up above, you've got your preview screen and your program screen, and you've got a few controls here in the middle. This here is your T-bar. This is going to let you transition from one camera to the next just by pulling that across. You can control the speed by doing it this way. There's a few options up here for transitions. So right now I've got it on fly. I will change this to what's well, something really tacky. How about a cube? Now as we pull this across, oh look at that, I mean who would not want that on their live stream, huh? Beautiful. So we've also got uh, the quick play which basically fades it from one to the other automatically. Cut is an instant transfer from one camera to the next. Uh, the merge is kind of a fade in and out. Uh, once you have one of these highlighted, obviously your T-bar will do the rest or you can click on the button if you're lazy. That's what I like to do, I'm a lazy guy. Anyway, once you have that all set up, your next step is to connect this to your platform of choice for live streaming. I have mine set up for YouTube. The way you would set that is you go down here to the stream selection, hit the gear icon, and this is where we set everything up. Our first thing that we need to do is enter our URL. This is the information that you get from your YouTube page. So once you're in there, you're going to select go live and you're gonna do the live stream selection, it will give you a stream key and it will give you a URL. So you're gonna paste the URL right here. You're gonna paste the stream key right there. Once those are in, you wanna check your quality settings. If you are using Facebook, make sure you select one of these Facebook options because they're somewhat limited in what they'll allow as a stream compared to some of the other services. Uh, for our needs for YouTube, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the highest quality option for 1080p. And once I do that, all I have to do is hit start and I'm now live streaming on my YouTube page. If I want to stop it, I just hit stop there. If I hit save and close here, that stores all my settings and now all I have to do is click this little stream button at the bottom and you'll notice I'm now live. I get the little indicator above my program feed that I am streaming out of my first streaming output. And essentially that's all there is to it. If you wanted to add a non NDI camera that's uh, one of our BZB gear cameras. We'll go ahead and walk through that real quick since this is so easy. We're going to select add input and we are going to select the stream slash SRT option. Stream type, we're going to select RTSP over UDP, which is the default selection. And then for the URL here, 
you're going to go ahead and punch in the URL. I've already got one set here. It's, it has a little uh, history in it, so I can call that back up. Basically, for our cameras, how you're going to do this, uh, you're going to type in RTSP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of your camera, followed by a forward slash, the word live, another forward slash, and AV0. That's going to be the primary high def stream that's coming off of your camera. Once you punch that in there, hit OK. Now you'll notice, boom, I've got a third camera that just popped up in a different room. And I can select that and send that on down to my stream if I want to. Not a very nice uh, picture to look at. Let's go to this one. It's better. Anyways, uh, beyond that, once you're ready to stop your stream, simply go down here in the middle, click that stream button again. It'll ask you to verify that you want to stop streaming. Once you've done that, it's finished. So uh, that pretty much covers everything you need to know about adding a BZB Gear camera to the vMix software. It's very simple, really easy to get going. There are a lot of really good uh, tutorials on vMix's website if you're interested in learning more of the finer details about how that software works. Highly recommend checking out their channel. It's very informative. Beyond that, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.